Hi, kids. Professor Esther Hester here. Today, I'm in one of my favorite labs in the whole world, the Great Outdoors. <laughs> Camp. All right, kids, I've got great news and not so great news. The great news is I have all the stuff we need to make s'mores back at the campsite. Yeah! Well, what's the not so great news? The campsite is about a 30 minute hike back up the mountain. Don't worry. I have a game we can play that will make the time go by faster. I love games. Me too. The game's called Come to Your Senses. Sounds fun. How do we play? It's easy. Each one of you will represent a different one of our senses. Sight, hearing, taste, touch, and smell. I'll give each of you a sense. Then you tell us one thing you can learn about the forest using that sense. Ooh, can I go first? Sure, Jamil. Your sense is going to be hearing. Remember, there are lots of things we can discover with our hearing. Like what kind of sound something is making. Maybe it's ringing, clapping, or my favorite sound, laughing. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Chester. Barking, too. What is something you can learn about in the forest environment with your sense of hearing? Wow, there are lots of sounds in the forest. I can hear the stream rushing along beside us, the leaves crunching under my shoes, the wind blowing through the trees. And I hear baby birds chirping. That sound is coming from over there. The baby birds were chirping a lot until their mom came back to the nest with food. Oh, that must be how they tell her they're hungry. That's right, Jamil. Let's see what else we can learn by using our senses. Piper, you be the sense of touch. What's something you can learn about in the forest environment? I felt super cold last night until I sat close to the campfire, which was too hot to touch, but it kept me warm. The ferns are really soft like a feather. And the trail to the campground is really rocky. I even got rocks in my shoes. That's because you were dancing all the way up the trail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these rocks in the stream feel a lot smoother than the rocks on the trail. Why do you think that is? Because the water causes the rocks to tumble over each other, which knocks their edges off. Eventually, they become smooth and rounded. Good way to use your sense of touch to learn, Piper. Okay, Lester, your turn. You be the sense of sight. What is something you can learn about in the forest environment with your sense of sight? There are lots of cool things to see in the forest. Giant trees, pine cones, boulders and frogs. That frog has a really neat pattern on its back. That frog must have that pattern so it can hide when it feels threatened by other animals. Or by campers, like you. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, Mr. Frog. Didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> you guys are really good at this game. Charlotte, you be the sense of smell. What is something you can learn about? Back at camp, I could smell the damp leaves on the ground from the rain, the burnt logs from our campfire, and the red clover plants around the campsite that smelled like honey. And... Hey, you! What's that smell? Don't look at me! It smells like a skunk! It is a skunk! <laughs> I can oh. smell it! Oh. That smell was awful! I bet it makes other animals run away, too. 
That must be how the skunk protects itself. Right! The nose knows! <laughs> hey! There's our campsite! Yeah! Woohoo! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See? Our game made the time go by. And we learned a lot about the forest environment, too. Wait, we forgot about taste. You're right, Logan. You can be our sense of taste. From taste, we can find out whether something is sweet, salty, bitter, sour, or a mix of tastes. But you should never taste anything that isn't food. So what do you think we can learn from you? I know. I'll learn how to make the perfect s'more by tasting all the ingredients. 